it's 5 32 and this is the third upload already so far today um the issue being retaliatory crime the issue being theft from my personal belongings the issue being hap apartment 18 rock street and a bunch of keys stolen from me on the 22nd of september still stolen uh reported missing on the day of its occurrence and the damages at 18 rock street that were done and the items stolen from me at 18 rock street also and the breaking and entering incidents at 18 rock Street. So there's been a lot of crime on my farms as well in our Fort and Kilflin that the uh, Garda Siakona have been made aware of since 2016. It's 2023 and yet again there are still individuals brazing it into people's property without paying their debts and uh, they have a criminal track record. So I'm Royal Protocol, I have Royal Titles and there are individuals that are trying to incriminate or false report or trying to make crime where there has been crime prevention and unfortunately that's not really safe for the children that have been saved with the humanitarianism and crime prevention that I've done. So there's a very dangerous in- issue of ASBO um, activity going on at the moment. It's retaliatory crime. In the southwest of Ireland there have been individuals getting themselves into trouble, evading their debts they owe me since 2006. So uh, they are of crimes with the Garda Siakona or against the Garda Siakona, excuse me. Um, They're of crimes against the Garda Siakona establishment since 2006. And those that are trying to offend my track record with any of their criminality or criminal action or criminal activity, um, unfortunately, are making Brexit and COVID-19 really, really, really even more unsafe. So just to remind everybody that is looking at this documentary, there's a huge retaliatory issue going on in South West Ireland by people evading debts and hoping to get onto farmland by means of more crime and risking uh, people's lives and homes again, as usual, as they have done since 2006. And we've already seen the repercussion of their initiatives and input into societal uh, developments with the casualties they've caused. So those people that are trying to dirty uh, my track record that has been of crime prevention um, are a liability to children's safety and they're not welcome whether uh, by any means on my farms in Artfort and Kilflin or in um, any of my personal uh, surroundings where they owe debts since 2006. It's really disgusting the situation but this is what they've done in South West Ireland and it's not getting cleaner or cleaner or cleaner. So the issue is COVID-19 being offended. China, I'm raising it at high alert at the moment with the same usual bad party politics and the bad initiatives that have already damaged the role of the justice and the uh, Garda Siakon establishment in this country, particularly in the southwest of Ireland. So those that are of a despicable, embarrassing situation really and enjoy the fruits of my labour I describe it, you know what I mean and forgetting where they come from, God help us and not paying their debts where they owe so much, I'm raising this uh, to the attention and awareness of China and those that have been um, experiencing the recovery and reform as a consequence of me um, those people that are causing offence and not paying their debts and walking onto my farmland without my permission are committing a very dangerous crime for people families and their home lives so those people that are still a liability to the role of the Garda Siakona they might remind themselves of their own criminal track records their dirty debts that they owe at home and abroad and the crimes they've caused against my innocent son and how um, as any mother I would uh take that kind of a situation quite seriously so those being cheeky or brazen with other people's money and property they might uh, put their children first and mind their children's safety uh, before they cause any more problems with the Garda Siakona where uh, they are dirtying my crime prevention with their criminality and dirtying COVID-19 with their dirty behaviour so it's a really disgusting situation and uh, it's not getting any cleaner Um, so those in China that you're aware of how Brexit has happened and COVID-19, those that have been dirtying people's health with contamination and toxicity in society, those that have been offending the establishment of the Garda Siakona might be careful about offending me with any of their uh, false reports and false records and any of their mental illness as well thrown into the mix uh, singing a bad tune as usual with regard to their tall tales so uh, China zero tolerance has not been respected COVID-19 has not been respected there's a very dangerous issue by debtors and debt evaders in the southwest of Ireland that are still a liability to 
justice, democracy and truth. So those people that don't have any shame about owing a mother any money or walking onto my farmland, I'm really embarrassed for you uh, that you don't have any shame in your actions against my good name and living off my uh, reforms and my recovery and that you have uh, despicable uh, standards in upholding people's uh, credibility and credit worthiness in uh, qualifications of intelligent um, behaviour and intelligent education. So those people that are an embarrassment to this little island are upsetting the saints and scholars. So they might be careful about shaming the country with any more of their poor standards and poor background in this situation that are uh, exacerbating their dirty debts and risking people and children, especially a huge, a huge level with their uh, reckless and embarrassing irresponsible behavior it's despicable so china there is an issue zero tolerance is being offended covid19 is being offended and i am requesting assistance immediately due to the poor nature of idsc and irresponsibility in the southwest of ireland by individuals of criminality against the state since 2006 it's a sad sign of the times